<laughs> Welcome guys to this quick tutorial video or guide on how to get Call of Duty Warzone or Modern Warfare, whatever you want to call the game, working. Uh, especially for people using Windows 10 64 uh, bit, bit professional, and with any of the main antivirus like Komodo, McAfee, uh, and a few others. Uh, it seems to be more focused to people with Komodo, but I've seen a lot of people having it with McAfee and AVG and a few others. So, your, your general symptoms of the scenario is going to be that you click play, the game uh, initiates, uh, initiates from the start. So, you, when you're in Task Manager, you'll see that you get a, a disk read. Um, it'll pop up as a process, be it Battle.net um, and actually coming up as Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And it will probably hang around for two, three seconds uh, thinking and then it'll stop and then you get another bit of thinking or sometimes it'll just disappear and then after about five or six seconds after that it will the actual Battle.net thing itself will show go from loading and then it will go back to play again and then the whole process will stop and you'll see in Task Manager that the game has vanished. So basically it's initiating and then it drops out. Um, I've tried loads of different things to try and get this fixed, uh, which will stem from you know, running it in various different instances of administration under Windows 8, Windows 7, um, loads of different DX configs, just everything. I've tried so many different things, which is what I've, I've done so, for so many years with different games. And really, it was a simple thing that was the antivirus, again. I've raised this many a times of other games, A for B, Need for Speed, you name it. Um, so, I'm going to quickly show you how to do this. So, you, there's two things you want to do. Um, if you've got Komodo like I have, you'll see it on the screen. Uh, mine's pretty much kind of well set up, I've got a few bits on there. If you go to Settings, and then on the left hand side you go down, you've got Advanced Protection. Let me just move this window in a bit. And then you've got Moleculous. And then on the top one it says do not uh, or don't detect shellcode injections in these applications and you can click these these applications um, and basically what i've done is uh, somebody else well, after doing a bit of research about this somebody else had actually just put in the whole folder for the game i would not do that you just want to select the dot the dot exe now the best way to do that is click on add and it'll say from running process. Now, obviously in the game state when it's not running, you're not gonna find a process. So what we need to do is we would click on play and that's gonna launch the game for me now, but I can very quickly go run process and you scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see you should have, there it is, modernwarfare.exe, you click okay and that will present that for you. And even though mine is on SSD, it still likes to take a moment. And we'll see the game is loading. So originally that error would be presented as the nt.dll error. Could not find game location or game path, nt.dll. So all it is, is, is like it says, a shell injection where for whatever reason the game is trying to inject certain DLLs and certain files. Not many games do, and weirdly enough, Komodo is picking up Call of Duty as being a rogue, a rogue warrior. And we can now see that we are in Call of Duty. And it's loaded up, I've done all the latest job we did. And we're running. We are in the game. So that's your real easy fix. That's how you do it. You just need to go into whatever antivirus firewall software you use. Um, and to give you a bit more background to what that is, the shell injection. So it's basically the antivirus um, and malware and firewall, all that part of it that is protecting your, o your OS, your operating system. Um, any of the main core files and stuff that need to be protected from being manipulated or modified without a controlled environment so there is a little bit of risk to what we've done on the basis that you're basically giving Call of Duty or Modern Warfare.exe free reign of whatever files or whatever shell files it's trying to inject uh, one would hope that it's just injecting to, to control and like um, for better sharing of information between the operating system and the game for better hardware like op uh, optimization 
but that is another way how like malware and viruses will can can get in through that way which is why it's so heavily safeguarded by Komodo which is why I use Komodo I think it's a great piece of software um, I'm not sure about what you'd have to do with AVG, uh, AVG or McAfee or any of the others but it'll be under the same thing it'll be under the shell injection and then just giving it the game access cool cheers guys I hope that helped uh, there is some other bits on my channel for like Need for Speed Heat I managed to optimise that um, do a lot of forum stuff for APB if any of you are playing that and a few others so uh, any major questions put them in the below of the comment of this video box thing I'm just waffling so I'm gonna go cheers thanks for watching guys hope it helped you give it a subscribe in below and get your notifications and I'll catch you in the next video